Next we're going to see if works pretty well with um, scraps. Which I believe he would work well with Scrap Dragon. He doesn't really work that well in scraps, but you can make him in scraps. Which is pretty good. And he does get over some threats that scraps wouldn't be able to get over. Also, in the second replay, um, because of him, we don't get OTK'd by fucking um, Lunar Lights. So, stay tuned for that. I've been trying a lot of different cards with uh, Scraps, and I have to admit, World Legacy Clash is definitely still one of the best ones. Super Rush Recklessly is the new one that I'm trying out for the deck, so I've made it more revolved around the Beast, which the majority of the archetype is actually Beast, apart from Goblin and Golem right there. And Shark, he's Fish. I looked up fish support first. The only uh, card that I could think of is the level 1 one that special summons shark directly from the deck. Which is pretty decent. But at that point I might as well just play another shark. So as you can see, this guy was Jesus by him getting Quintet Magician on his second turn without using a uh, Grass is Greener. And he got it with the appropriate effect that nukes the board. But because of Scraps being pretty recyclable, they come on back. With Searcher coming back because... A scrap monster was destroyed and dragon reborn in something that isn't a synchro. Which, honestly, if it could bring back a synchro other than itself, that would be really good. That would be pretty busted. The one thing I hate about scraps is they definitely rely on factory. So you'd think... Konami would be like, okay, Scraps need a Searcher for their field spell, because their whole deck revolves around it. And then the field spell misses timing like god it misses timing. Why does it miss timing so badly? It's actually <sighs> actually makes me question why I like the archetype. So, with Chimera, I can bring back <clears throat> Goblin, and two nodes with Searcher and Goblin equals Hastor. So I'm just going to suicide into Krintet with Hastor. I was going to say into Hastor with Krintet, but that would have been a massive fuck up. He opens up Galaxy Cyclone. Now, this, me activating this in response to that might have been really dumb, to be honest. But at least this way I do get rid of his Magician Girl. But most of the Magician Girls, and um, from what I've seen. But and then he could, oh, yeah. It, I'm like, he could have summoned Dark Magician Girl with it, but I just remembered that Fusion Monster can't be tributed, so that sucks. Now the thing is, I definitely know this is a person who doesn't read because of the, uh, his next move. Oh, and the reason I summoned Beast from the deck is because, as you can see, go I only use two golems. Because I already brick enough as it is with this deck. With Orpheros and Golem. 
which is upsetting how many times I draw two golems and two Orphoroses in my beginner hand. But golem is a must, and Orphoros can even lead to just OTKs. So, he's definitely the best boy in this. I don't like Beast that much. Beast is kind of a brick. But uh, with this version of the deck, with that trap card, Beast actually becomes pretty useful. So, But in the World Legacy Clash version, Beast isn't that useful. Oh, and the dual runner I'm using is Jack Alice's. Even though, to be honest, you says one could be pretty good, and I can see the trickster one being pretty decent as well. And I kill him with his own Crintet, or her. I don't remember the name of the duelist, I'm sorry. Now, this is a fast match because it's versus an OTK deck. Good win versus Jack Atlas. So, honestly, worst hand ever. You never want to start off with two factories. Well, that's not always the case. Because if you place one and then it gets Cosmic Cyclone, do you want to just place another one and be haha? -ha? So in this one, we start straight off with Hastor. Use Jack Atlas's ability to draw an extra card. And we attack into a Martin, which then I freak out. I'm like, oh god, it's Lunar Lights. He has the fusion. He's automatically like, yeah, I probably won this because Crimson Fox is just the best. Like, making a monster's attack zero in this format. And giving protection to the monster as well. Busted. I think Fox is definitely one of the best cards for Lunar Lights. Then this guy is like, I'm gonna target both of your back row. Both of my back row is powerful rebirth. Meaning I can reuse them after I do this. Now, if you're not used to the Scrap Arch type, Searcher really hates different monsters from himself. I target their Lunar Light Fusion, and you know what? Fox is just like, I can negate that. He too draws a card. Now, I don't understand why he returned that, but... Oh well. You know, I've always been like, wow, that 100 burn doesn't do anything. But I've actually lost against Lunar Lights because of that 100 burn. And it annoys me. So because he attacked my goblin, goblin dies, Searcher comes back. I get something from my factory. I think I top deck into Orphoros now. 
This is why Orpheros is good boy. Best boy. He destroys Searcher. Activating Factory. Getting another Golem. Then I'm like, Golem, give him Goblin. And that's how you beat Lunar Lights. <laughs> I activate Power Force. This was not needed. And boom, boom. That's a video of um, Hastor actually coming in useful. Because without Hastor, I definitely probably would have lost that. I don't think Scraps really have anything for that. Apart from uh, the spell card that destroys them. So thank you for watching and bye bye.